My name is John Zucker, and I'm a community manager for a community of technical technical members. I work for a company called Gigamon. We do networking and security software and hardware. So you can imagine all of our community members are very technical. Our users is typically architects and engineers. So I've been running this community for about four years before I was at Gigamon, I, I ran a developer community. So my experience is in communities and specifically in technical communities. Yeah, we're, we're billing this as video editing, and I'm going to show you a, a, a tool called Descript, which I use quite frequently and think is an amazing tool. However, my discovery of Descript was not coming from a video perspective at all. I found out about Descript uh, to support a podcast that we launched last summer. And I am the producer, the organizer, the operational person, the editor of the podcast. And the host of the podcast is one of our technical experts. So I had a little bit of experience doing podcasts. This was six, six years ago. It was extremely painful to do on a low budget or actually no budget. And prior to finding Descript, and again, not even thinking about videos yet, I was using Camtasia Studio. Camtasia Studio is a fantastic video editing tool, but I was using it to record audio podcasts. And it was a bit cumbersome. There were a lot of features that I didn't really need. I was looking for something that would honestly help me reduce the amount of time that it takes to edit all this audio that I was capturing. And that's when I discovered Descript. And I'll show you the main feature that, that I use that really attracted me to the product. Wasn't even thinking about doing videos, although now all of our new podcasts, we are also creating videos. So I'm just now starting to get into some of the video editing capabilities, which I'll show you. Before I go into the, the product uh, about the podcast, when I record our podcast, I'm using Zoom. I'm using Zoom to capture, of course, both the video and the audio, and it does a very good job. So, you know, that's the first thing is what are you going to use to capture your content, whether it's audio or video, or in the case of Zoom, you can capture both simultaneously at the same time. So I'm using Zoom. The other, th other thing I want to mention too, that's really important for podcasts and also for videos is audio. And if you are doing podcasts, make sure that you get your host, a, a capable microphone. You don't have to spend a lot of money. In fact, I actually have right here. I'm going to drop into the chat, the microphone that we recommend. And there's one right there. I wonder if it's the same one. We'll see. <laughs> this microphone costs, I think it's like $70 US on Amazon. Very important to have a good microphone, Elijah. Did you, did you know that? I've heard this. I'm not using it right now, but I love putting it into position for when it's worth yeah. getting in the way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Again, I was looking for a tool that would allow me to reduce the amount of time that it takes to do editing because it's extremely cumbersome in uh, Camtasia Studio. So I found Descript. Let me share my screen and show you the product. Let's see here. All right. Okay. So you guys should see this. Yeah. Yep. Looking good. Good. And I'm going to look, I'm going to need to look over here to, to run through some things. So this is Descript. This is just the, the project view and you can see episode 10, episode nine. These are all of the, the podcasts that we've been doing. This is actually a, just a video that, that I created earlier this week for our organization, but this is just where you organize all your content. It's just a, a fairly basic project management or organizational tool. All right. Everything is, each one of these is stored in a project. So I'm actually going to create a new one. Guess what I'll call it demo. 
All right. So this is how you start things off. I'm going to, let's see if this will work. Yeah. Okay. This is the content that I captured for our most recent podcast that came right out of Zoom. I haven't changed anything. And you can see, they give it some naming here. One of the nice things about Zoom, especially if you're doing audio only, is it can capture different tracks for each speaker. And this is a huge benefit to have for audio editing when you have two speakers that overlap, they talk over each other. And it does happen. Someone laughs. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty good. Talk, talk. I'm talking exactly. over you. Look at me. I'm a jerk. Yeah, I know. And when, when you listen to, when you listen to lots of podcasts, you don't hear this overlap and you don't even think about it until you actually start to try to edit one. So that's a really nice feature is to have uh, speakers, uh, uh, different audio tracks for each speaker. They do mash everything up into one audio track. And then here's the video. Now, as I mentioned, editing, it was really what it was all about. And the best feature of Descript is it takes an audio track or a video track and automatically creates a written transcript for you using their AI algorithms. And then, which I'll show you, you can use the transcript to do your editing instead of a WAV file or a waveform. So I'm literally going to drop this video in here. And now you can see it's adding the transcript, right? It's creating the transcript, if you will. It does ask you to put in a speaker's name. I'm not going to do that because there's actually two speakers. There are tools in here that will go in and play for you a little snippet of audio from each speaker it hears and you type in the name and this is really nice for doing your transcript. So I'm going to let this run and what it's, it's uploading and then it's going to, it's going to transcribe and then we'll take a look at the results here in a second. A couple of other things I want to mention while this is going forward about Descript. It's got a lot of features and I haven't even used all the features. I sometimes stumble, stumble through the product myself. So I'm by no means a, what I would consider a superpower user as yet. A lot of features. It's $15 a month, which don't, don't tell them this, but that's for the value that you get. It's just fantastic. The other thing that's really nice about Descript is once you've got your transcript edited, you've got your video edited, especially in the, in the form of a podcast is I need to send information out to the speaker or the guest to let them review it because maybe they said something they don't want to say. And this actually happened in one of the more recent episodes that I was creating is he didn't really want, he wanted to say it a little bit differently. All I had him do was just try to put himself in the same audio environment and that he was before, just record a little snippet and then send it off to me and it worked just fine. Okay. So this is going to take a little bit of time and I know we don't, I don't, I know we don't have full time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back here and I'm going to bring up, this is the podcast that I'm, I am editing right now. Okay. And I actually, the last section of it, I haven't finished editing. And so I'm going to do that live for you. But before I do that, I want to show you what the results are here. So all this text that you see here, I didn't write it. Okay. Descript transcribed it for me. Okay. It's amazing. You can see as I click on a word, it also gets higher higher highlighted down here as well. So any, any time I do that, so you get this simultaneous view of the written word as well as the podcast itself, right? The audio and, and each word has its own tab, if you will. So that makes it super easier to do things like this. If I don't want this word, I can just delete it right from the transcript and it goes away. I'll bring it back. Or I can click on the word here and delete it this way. So you can edit 
either in either environment, whichever whichever one you feel more comfortable using. Okay, so that's really nice. You can see it's very quick to zoom in and zoom out. Again, you can choose to navigate this way, or you can choose to navigate this way. And th th this again is such a huge time saver because before this. If I found something that didn't make sense, I'd have to go and zoom in and highlight it and clip it out and listen to it just from the waveform. But now for big changes, you could just do it from the text. Now, just like any other Word document, whatever you might be, Word processor or Word program you're working with, you can also take entire sections, cut them out, and paste them into another part of the podcast. So as you're going through the, the, and again, it doesn't, this is, doesn't have to be a podcast. It could be for the video too. You're going through things and you want to change the order. Just do it by cutting and pasting as you would in a, in a word document. Okay. Super easy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I have a start demo here, little marker that I put in and you can see it right here. So basically all that, all this text that you see here, I haven't listened to yet for the first time. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually attempt to edit this. So John, could you just show people how they actually create markers? Cause I think for editors, it's oh. a real important power tool. Yeah. So <laughs> markers and I use markers to actually create the chapter names. That'll be after I get through this thing, I'm going to go through and create chapter names. Okay, if I want to create a marker, let's say right here or at the top here, I just hit the M key. Chapter three, whatever, done. And when you export your transcript, if you need to do that, you can export the markers in it. There's also timestamps. There's so many capabilities. So for example, if you have timestamps, in your export, when you import it into, for example, YouTube, which is where we put all of our podcast videos, YouTube will create chapters out of it for you. So that's a, a huge benefit. All right. So I'm going to go here and let me, can you guys hear this? I think that's one of the things that it, a lot of people. Yes, we are. Do I need to turn it up a little bit? I think it works. Okay. All right. As we're developed. All right. So. This is what I do. This is my editing process. I think that's, of course, you can see the video playing over here. And let me see if I can find one of those things, things that, that a lot of people as we're developing microservices. Okay. A lot of people comma. I don't want the comma done. It's out as we're developing microservices. I want to capitalize microservices because it's an important term for our business. I can't just type in M there's two ways to do this. There's a, a, a keyboard shortcut, see my little mouse and just click M and it, it capitalizes it. Or I can hit the E key and I can do it this way. Or I could change it like this. I could add another word. Now it doesn't add, it doesn't add a word to the video, but it adds a word to the transcript. And sometimes I find that I have to, the interpretation of the transcript or as how's, how it comes across, I need to add an additional word and you can very easily add these words to your transcript. Microservices. Let me keep going. That we have to recognize that we have a service that's going to be called from many different things and who's allowed to, and when they do, what processes can they actually invoke? Okay. Did you hear that? It says, what processes can they actually invoke? I'll play that again. Can they actually invoke? The transcript didn't pick that up, but I'm going to add it. And so I'm going to go here. It just says shortcut key. Oh, and I want to put a question mark. Done. So you see how easy that is? Let me see if I can find it. Here's something that looks a little bit weird. That's a good point. I want to thank you for being my guest today. This was a lot of so. Fun. So he said guests. It's it says guest, but I want it, but it needs to be guest. Done. Guests today. This was a lot of fun. 
get rid of this period. A lot of fun. Thank you for having me, Jim. Always a pleasure. And if anybody. Okay. So Sandy, it says at and if all I got to do is take, whoops, take this. Hold on. Here we go. And now it's it wrapped itself under Jim. The links are down below. Reach out to us. Ask us whatever you want. If there's enough good questions. I don't need that period. Good questions and feedback. We'll re I don't need that period. Now, if, did you notice w when I take the period out, it automatically changes the capitalization. If your transcript is important, this is huge. We'll revisit it in a post. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Okay. So I hope you got a sense of how you can do this editing. And again, I'm just doing transcript editing right now. I'm not doing anything special for the video. There are a lot of video editing capabilities that are available as well. Let me talk about a couple of them. <clears throat> For videos, you can add text. You can add what's called fancy captions. I'll show you those in a second. You can add graphical elements if you want. You can also add a waveform if you want a waveform to be playing on your video. Let me do this and show you what some of these look like. Give me one second. I'm just going to go to our YouTube channel. And all right, can you see this? Yeah, you can. All right. So here's Win at work by communicating effectively with Grammarly. He touch. He is emailing a Okay, so this is one of our this is the current episode that we have running right now for the podcast. What I did was used what's called the waveform. And then there's some ways to add some of these graphical elements, but this is just finished. Every area foundation finished security. product, if you will. Knowing who has access and knowing what they're doing with it. So it's, <laughs> I know it's listing. Is so you get the idea there. Let me also show you another nice feature. And it's right here. So the uh, Descript has this, this feature called a fancy text. And what it does is it actually on the video shows what's actually being talked about. So here we go. People, if you've got people that are more familiar with uh, Go, for example, you might want to uh, do something more in Google Cloud, or if you have people that are used to doing VPCs, what are your thoughts? And that's oh. super powerful for things like social media, where people are often viewing without sound, like in a Twitter feed or on Facebook. Exactly. And, and th what you see right here, you can create in Descript in, in just a couple of minutes. And yeah, that's what happens is after I, after I produce the video, then our social team will reach out and say, Hey, can you give me a snippet of chapter three, let's say, and then that's what I do there. So that's a really nice feature that was using the waveform. You can do a progress bar. If you don't like the wave, I'm sorry, was, the waveform was on the video. Oops. Ah, I didn't, I just added it. The waveform was on the video. The text that you saw scrolling across there is called fancy captions, right? So you can do quite a bit of additional formatting, if you will, of the video, if you want that format, you can, and it's very easy to clip out the sec, for example, that little snippet I just showed you in, in Twitter doesn't, it's not the whole podcast. It's just a small section. So you just literally, you go like this and then what you do is called clip to a new clip to composition new. And now I just have what Sandy said with the video. And now I could go in and I could go ahead and add a waveform, put it down here. 
and you can see. And by the way, that service is being. So you can see how easy it is to start creating these kinds of things. All right, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about, because there's a lot more here. Do, 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 transcription. I'm just looking at some of the steps that I go through when I'm doing this. I bring it in, I transcribe it, I listen to it. Oh, yes, there is. Let me see if I can, I'll just go, I'll just go here and see this thing called filler words. What it does is it's looking for all the words in the transcript that are listed here. One of the first things I do is I, I do this and it finds all the ums. It may find all the, you knows, that's something that, that I do. And a lot of us do besides, as we say, you can go in and Descript will find all of those filler words for you and you can just delete them in mass. I've had situations where, again, because we're in a technical arena, a lot of acronyms are used. And in this particular podcast, there's this word, the CISA, which is a governmental organization. The transcript, I've already transcribed this and corrected it. It found S, it was S-I-S-A is how Descript brought it in. So search for S-I-S-A, -S change them all to C-I-S-A. This podcast is about cloud, the cloud, right? When the transcript was created, they were all lowercase. I searched for them and changed them all to uppercase. Huge time savers. I haven't really messed much with uh, word gaps or with word gaps as yet. So I honestly don't know what that is. I can speak to that. So word okay. gaps are pretty great. Basically it just says show any space where there's no audio is like for say two seconds or three seconds mm -hmm. and flag those. And then you can say, do I want to shorten all those? So that's really great for those gaps. Say between you're going between presenters and someone yeah. had a minute where they're just like, oh, there's just some dead air space. So it helps you find that. Oh, cool. All right. So I just did it. Capabilities. Okay. <laughs> Features. It, what I, okay. So that's cool. I left this in because it contributes to the conversation, but I agree if you had uncomfortable silence and you wanted to fill this word gap, I guess this would do it right here. You just shorten it to one second, or you can literally just drag it over here and it'll go away too. So that's another really nice feature that I, that I haven't mentioned yet is from an editing standpoint, if you do have space or if you want to add space, you can do it to create a word gap. You can do that by just clicking and dragging on the word itself. That's really nice. There are some other features. If you have popping or you, maybe you edit out all the ums, and then that creates a weird sort of audio artifact that pops or the volume is weird. There are some tools you can see here that actually will smooth out the transition between two words. There's so much here and their, their help center is really awesome. You type in what you want. They have all kinds of video overviews that they do, new features. So the help system is really good. The support system's great as well. They have a community, <laughs> and which is, which runs on discord, which is very nice. The last thing I want to talk about before I finish is some things that you probably want to add to your video or podcast. Don't worry so much about this. This was some video stuff I had to do. Let me actually bring up another one, which is this one. Actually, we're getting ready to publish here shortly and that's music, right? So this is the music that we use for our, our podcast. It's a heavy metal music theme that our host really wanted. And so it's very easy to add the music. And then there are audio leveling tools where you can decrease the volume. You can either pick specific points to decrease the volume, which I think I, yeah, which I, whoops, which I did on this one. You can kind of, well, there we go. You can see them there. 
or you can just do it this way. I, I like to be very precise in how I do that. Very easy to add audio. This is a label. Let me show you how that works. Hold on, field CTO at Gigamon. And today I've got a great. So you can add titles. This is something I haven't done yet. This is the first time I'll, we'll be publishing one with these. So there are these additional, additional video editing artifacts, annotations that you can add as well.